Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to quickly walk you through the steps on how to set up no-go zones, editing the map for your RoboRock RoboVacuum. So what we want to do is launch the RoboRock application. If you haven't already linked up your RoboRock vacuum with the RoboRock app, I go over how to do this in my initial setup guide. So if you need additional help with that, I'll post that tutorial down in the description. It's in the back half of that video. But with our vacuum right here, we're going to click on it to select our RoboVac. And you can see after you've run your RoboVac, it'll give you a pretty good idea of what your rooms look like. So to set up no-go zones, we're going to click on the little edit map feature here towards the upper right hand area. This will bring up our map editing options. So what I'm going to do is select no-go zone. And you can either do an invisible wall or an entire zone that you don't want your RoboVac to go. So I'm going to set up an invisible wall by clicking on the little plus icon right there. And then that gives us this little line and we can adjust it how we see fit. So we can rotate it around and you can make this line longer or shorter depending on your preference. So I'm going to drop this particular line over in this area just as an added precaution. So I'm going to drop that invisible wall right there. And then to do a no-go zone, so a square or a rectangled area, we're going to click on the little plus sign next to no-go zone. That gives us this box. We can adjust it to the size that we'd like it to be. And let's just say, for instance, I don't want it to go in this area. So I can adjust it to the size that fits that particular area. And then I can click on this little check mark where it says no go zone. And then that will save that particular zone as well. So now going back to my map, I have a couple of different areas that I've edited in there with an invisible wall and a no go zone. This is going to be where you can do this through the RoboRock application. I hope this quick tutorial is helpful. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and I'll see you back here next time.